Yeah, I want to go over uh, something that maybe is a myth that's circulating around on the internet a little bit. Uh, you know, I try to do good research. Um, I got family that's in the medical profession. Uh, good friend of mine is a doctor. Another good friend of mine is uh, he runs a clinic and uh, he's got all kinds of degrees. He works with doctors that are um, or established you know, some of the major the major hospitals in the area. So, you know, I get I get little tidbits from other people and stuff here and there, but. I've read a lot of things uh, for decades, but I'm not actually professionally qualified. Um, used to read a lot of stuff about, um, you know, various uh, types of treatments and healing methods uh, while I was at the gym doing the elliptical for a few hours, and I, a lot of times I'd read for at least an hour, and that that adds up, you know, when you're doing that for a number of years. But um, you know, one of the myths out there is about uh, using egg whites to treat burns with. Now the concept in itself sounds good on the surface because egg whites have, you know, it's complete protein, it's got collagen in it, and uh, you know, it sounds good. Actually, um, women have used egg whites for to uh, treat skin. Actually, if you use pure, I'll, I'll throw this in here because it's a little tip. Um, you want to temporarily uh, tighten your skin to uh, lessen wrinkles, like it works for, I don't know, maybe a few hours or something use egg whites and it causes the skin to draw in tighter um, and it will actually make it look like you remove wrinkles and it's actually healthy for the skin um, but you have to wash it you know the one thing that's a disadvantage of egg whites though is that it can contain a lot of bacteria that's the problem so if you were going to use that as a treatment you know what I would say to do is um, you know this is my layman's advice but just using a lot of common sense use um, egg white powder and I keep a lot of that on hand and distilled water which I keep a lot on hand and put a little colloidal silver in it to also which in other words work as any kind of antimicrobial because the egg white itself is actually pretty nutritious for the skin but one thing that's out there that's very good for skin for burns and actually the first thing you should really do is well you need to really if it's a bad burn you need to seek medical attention because you know anything you do for but you know in the meantime you could do first aid the first aid actually for a burn is to immediately uh, run it under cold water uh, really ice cold water and even submerge the burn in you know ice cold water to um, get you know basically combat the uh, where it's deep down where it's burning it's probably still hot you want to actually combat the effects of you know the burn immediately by because maybe the heat is deep in the skin and you need to uh, reverse that heat as fast as possible um, <clears throat> now there's only one type of oil that I could say is actually good for a burn because a lot of people say to put butter butter ex you know it's like there may be there's nutrients in the butter maybe there's nutrients in the egg whites the problem is they can harbor a lot of bacteria and your one big, big, big problem with birds is infection. Infection. A lot of people don't die from the, you know, when they get a lot of burn mar over their body, they don't necessarily die from the burn itself. They die from infection. Infection. Now, there's only one oil out there that I know that really is a antimicrobial type of oil, and it's a natural oil that contains a lot of nutrients, is coconut oil. Coconut oil. This is the only oil I would actually think, and I'm, you know, let me put it this way. I've seen a lot of studies where this is actually recommended for, you know, minor burns and stuff as first aid cuts because it's antimicrobial. It's antimicrobial. That is their number one problem. Your body will heal in the absence. It will heal eventually as long as, um, you know, infection is what really knocks down the body. Then the body has to fight the infection and heal. You want it where it, there's no infection at all. Coconut oil is extremely antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, and that's and it actually does contain a lot of nutrients. Um, but I should also recommend, you know, I always keep loads of coconut oil on hand because I know it's a good first aid type of, of uh, type of oil. Besides being very healthy, uh, I keep quarts of distilled water and also quarts of uh, actually get uh, about three gallons of distilled water on hand and I keep uh, probably ten quarts of colloidal silver which is maybe five or to eight parts per million strength which is plenty strong enough it doesn't need to be ten or twenty parts per million strength 
So if you actually have a cut or burn or anything like that, or actually something that is where it's infected or whatever, uh, the combination of distilled water and um, um, you know um, coconut oil and colloidal silver is pretty powerful stuff, and you want to cool down that area as fast as possible. A lot of people don't use common sense. Like I think you could use the egg whites. I have powdered egg whites. I have like in big cans, and they're long-term, 30-year storage. But if I actually had a large burn on my arm or my leg or something like that. I would use the egg whites, but I would use it with in this respect. I would mix the powdered egg whites with distilled water and add some colloidal silver to it and use the egg whites. Because I, I think the theory, I do know that egg whites are extremely healthy for skin, for uh, preserving skin, regenerating skin. Uh, it's, it's known as a beauty treatment. It is valid that it does help the skin to regenerate. The big drawback to egg whites is that they, egg whites can contain a lot of bacteria. So, you know, the way I would personally do it, and this is using common sense, layman's common sense. You know, it's not something where I've read this, it's just my own, because I do understand the benefits of egg, egg whites, and I do understand the drawbacks to egg whites. But like I said, I have uh, three gallons of distilled water on hand. I have big containers of egg whites that are basically sealed in a container for 30 years. There's no bacteria in them at all. And um, when I add the distilled water, so I have a basically a sterile mixture of egg whites, and I would add a little bit of colloidal silver to it to basically uh, keep it sterile, and I would apply that to a burn. I personally would do that. I do know that uh, colloidal silver and uh, is actually something very good to um, anti, you know, cause as an antiseptic in an area, and um, it can very, it basically combats every pathogen out there, and also the only type of oil I know that uh, helps the skin heal and also it works as an antiseptic is coconut oil. There is one out there that is a good oil. I know a lot of people decide to put bur butter or um, you know um, egg whites on skin. Like I said, you know, uh, you have to be, you should not really do that per se. That's not really the correct thing. Uh, aloe vera, I think, is a very good one for uh, burns too. And uh, it's also healthy for the skin. But also, you know, it's like everything I do, I make sure if there's an actual cut or something where, um, you know, sometimes I'll cut my hands when I'm working on something or whatever, something will happen. And uh, what I do is I use the coconut oil especially. And um, many times, um, if I'm working on something, I get a lot of little cuts, and there's a lot of dirt and grease because I'm doing uh, automotive work. You know, I like doing it. it it's like I, you know, it's not my trade, but I like doing it, and I respect those that who who that that is their trade. I respect those kind of people. They do something that's beneficial for other people. But a lot of times, when I try to you know clean off all the grease or whatever there is, and there's cuts. Uh, I will use a lot of coconut oil mixed in with the soap, and what happens is it it breaks down the grease, and but also it, there's a mixture there that uh, causes you not to get infected, it, the cuts to get infected. So your number one enemy with burns and is actually infection, is infection. Uh, so coconut oil would be the only one, only oil that would be I I could think of that is really very good for. Um, Burns, but I would, you know, it could be mixed with, say, aloe vera, aloe vera, and like I said, if you're going to use the egg whites, um, don't use them. I, like I said, I have um, several cans of, you know, large cans of egg whites that are sealed in containers, uh, thirty year all sterile. Uh, I would add distilled water to them, and add a little colloidal silver, and I would make egg whites with that, and then uh, I would, you know, I wouldn't have the disadvantage of where there'd be bacteria. That's the way I would do it. That's the way I would do it. So, I figured I'd present this because uh, I think it's a unique approach. Um, and I do know that egg whites are extremely beneficial to the skin. Uh, I mean, not only do they, like, you know, like I seem to, I know that's an old trick where people could put it on their face. I, I don't do that. But, I mean, I know people do that. But they put it on your face and you can feel like it tightens up the skin and it lessens the appearance of wrinkles. And, um, 
But on top of that, egg whites have been known for way over many, many, I mean decades, going back to the 1800s for sure, where women have used egg whites for uh, beautifying, preserving, and preserving the skin. So egg whites can be beneficial with uh, helping to heal burns, but like I said, that big caveat is the problem with the bacteria. So, you know, I'm going to say this in my common sense, layman's type way of what I would do is I would use the, I'm repeating it again, I know, uh, but just to make sure, you know, you understand how I would do it, and it's like, I'm not a, I mean, even though I have a lot of associates that are medical professionals, I'm not a medical professional, even though I'm very well read, um, the way I would do it, and this is just using common sense, repeating myself again, I would take the egg whites that are actually powdered egg whites that are sterile, make them with distilled water, and add a little uh, colloidal silver to it, and this way you know you got something yeah, I don't. I don't see how you'd have a bacterial problem with that, especially if you're using egg whites and you wash them off, then you put it on there again. You don't leave them on there for like days or something, you know. I mean, I wouldn't know the recommendation, but I would change that out as often as possible. And I think the burn mark would heal as quickly. But if, obviously, if you have severe burns, uh, you are definitely calling a 911 uh, ambulance and, uh, you know, doing as much as possible. Now, with that egg white trick, I just recommend it with using powdered egg whites, distilled water, and colloidal silver be beneficial. Even in an emergency situation where you're waiting for the ambulance, I, I personally think so. I personally think so. But like I said, um, you know, I would actually opt more for the coconut oil and using lots and lots and lots of icy cold water and any if there's any kind of oil, would use the coconut oil because I know this stuff definitely clobbers about every microbe out there, bacteria, viruses, and fungi, and it makes a nice barrier for, um, you know, the air that might have some kind of contaminants or germs in it won't get into where, you know, the skin could get infected. So, but I would actually more lean to this, lean to this, because this is a lot faster. But, you know, if I was waiting around for hours or something for medical attention, um, I would use the... Uh, I would use the egg white trick the way I explained it, not the way it's being told on the internet. Just use plain egg whites directly from the eggs because they do contain a lot of bacteria and your number one problem with burns and things like that and injuries like that are is infection. Is infection. You gotta be infection could infection can kill you. That's it's I mean there's infections that Sometimes the best stuff the medical professionals have just can't combat. So, you know, if you're using any kind of egg whites, recommend you use powdered egg whites that are sterile, that are type that are long-term storage with distilled water and a little colloidal silver mixed in. And at least, you're, at least you're putting on something that's sterile right from the beginning. That's an important consideration. And I think I'm the only one that's putting this out. But it's more my own idea than you know, something I read someplace. I'm applying common sense. I don't know. It makes a hell of a lot of sense to me. And I do know egg whites are beneficial for the skin for, um, you know, blemishes, healing, anti-wrinkle, and all this type of stuff. It does help the skin regenerate itself. Like I said, the big caveat, again, I'm repeating it, is the, is the bacterial issue. And I think I've addressed that. 